Genesis chapter 11 The Tower of Babel And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick, and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. Shem's Descendants These are the generations of Shem. Shem was an hundred years old, and begot Arphaxad two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he begot Arphaxad five hundred years, and begot sons and daughters. And Arphaxad lived five and thirty years, and begot Sulla. And Arphaxad lived after he begot Sulla four hundred and three years, and begot sons and daughters. And Sulla lived thirty years, and begot Eber. And Sulla lived after he begot Eber four hundred and three years, and begot sons and daughters. And Eber lived four and thirty years, and begot Pelot. And Eber lived after he begot Peleg four hundred and thirty years, and begot sons and daughters. And Peleg lived thirty years, and begot Ru. And Peleg lived after he begot Ru two hundred and nine years, and begot sons and daughters. And Ru lived two and thirty years, and begot Sarah. And Ru lived after he begot Sarah two hundred and seven years, and begot sons and daughters. And Sarah lived thirty years, and begot Nahar. And Sarah lived after he begot Nahar two hundred years, and begot sons and daughters. And Nahar lived nine and twenty years, and begot Terah. And Nahar lived after he begot Terah an hundred and nineteen years, and begot sons and daughters. Terah's descendants. Twenty-six and Terah lived seventy years, and begot Abram, Nahar, and Haran. Twenty-seven now these are the generations of Terah. Terah begot Abram, Nahar, and Haran, and Haran begot Lot. Twenty-eight, and Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity, in Uar of the Chaldees. Twenty-nine, and Abram and Nahar took them wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahar's wife, Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. Thirty, but Sarai was barren. She had no child. 31 And Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran his son's son, and Sarai his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife, and they went forth with them from Uar of the Chaldees, to go into the land of Canaan, and they came unto Haran, and dwelt there. 32 And the days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Haran.